battery camera died on my GoPro, so I wasn't able to take you through the last couple steps. So what I did was finish putting on my power lock plus, let it sit for a couple hours, went got dinner, came back. Then I put a coat on of the Colonite 845 insulator wax. Um, with the power lock plus I used this pad as I said before. Seemed pretty good, but it soaks up a lot of the product and seems like I put it on too thick. Hey Piper, this is Dr. Piper who wants to help. I put it on too thick and wasted a little bit of product, so when I use the insulator wax, I just have a standard McGuire's wax applicator pad. I was able to use much less product on the entire car, so it's going to be cheaper, last longer. So the next time I'm going to use that. Um, what I also figured is the Power Lock Plus in the Colonite 845 looks very good, but I can still see some of the minor minor imperfections in the paint. I'm not an expert detailer, um, not an expert at polishing, compounding the car yet. This is really only my second car I've done. It's definitely took out about 85% 80, of the issues. Um, next time I'm going to try to go for a little bit better. Um, but what I did do the last time was I used Blacklight, Chemical Guys Blacklight Hybrid Radiant Finish with Top to it their Buttery Wet Wax. Um, it seems to me like the black light covers up a few more of the swirls and imperfections a little bit better than the Power Lock Plus. Um, the Power Lock Plus looks better, but you can see some of the imperfections. So next time I think I'm going to try using some black light and then top light with the Colonite. I like the Colonite a lot better than the Chemical Buttery Wet Wax, but it's hard to say. It's supposed to last a lot longer. The Buttery Wet Wax looks good. But it's not made to be a long lasting wax. So, tomorrow morning I'm going to top the car off with one more coat of the colonite just to give it a little bit more long longevity so that I can maybe go hopefully two months without having to wax my car. Um, went around on all the trim, the tires, and the front grille section with some Chemical Guys VRP. Like I said before, it's a little bit too shiny, but I have about a half a bottle left, I want to use it up and then I'm going to try some car coat pearl. Um, on the tires I use just a foam applicator pad, add them, sells them, Chem this is a Chemical Guys one. I think just a standard dollar piece of foam you can find anywhere, but it'll work just as good. Then for the trim and stuff like that I used a microfiber towel, just put a little bit on there, wiped it all around, that seemed to work pretty good. Once I was done with that, I had to go back through with another clean microfiber towel and wipe off a little bit of the residue, no matter how hard I tried to get nice and clean. I still made a little bit of a mess, but it wiped off real easy, so it's not a big deal. Um, thanks for watching. As I get better at detailing cars, I will try to post more videos and give you my feedback on how the products last and stuff like that. Um, to sum it up, I would. I would recommend sticking to a clay bar versus a nano skin. Or at least it felt to me like it was much, much better. It, it just felt like it was cleaning more. With the nano skin, I'm sure it was doing a good job, but I couldn't really feel anything coming off. Couldn't see the contaminants, so I didn't feel as good personally. So, I don't know. I'm just going to do a clay bar. It's a little bit more expensive in the long run, but it feels like it's doing a better job, and I'll keep with that. I'm going to try the black light next time. I'll put up a review on that. So, if you have any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message, and I'll respond back to you. Subscribe if you're interested. I'll be posting more garage videos, anything like that. One of my next projects is going to be to pressure wash the floor in here now that I get my pressure washer. I'll do a review on this easy clean um, surface cleaner attachment. It's the same thing as a uh, Yamaha and there's a couple other brands they just slap a new name on it. This one's from Home Depot. It's a couple bucks cheaper than Amazon. So I'll try that out. But thanks for watching.